So you want something that's packed with a bunch of chlorophyll, so many vitamins, uh, immune boosting powers, and just amazing energy building properties. I'm going to help you with this. The key ingredients, what you're always going to want to have, is lemon and garlic. Now put at least two cloves of garlic, and you can put as much lemon as you want. It really doesn't matter as long as it's uh, not beyond uh, three because otherwise then it'll just be too sour. Now with the lemon you can of course peel it and put it in as like kind of like an orange or you can just get the juice out of it and put the juice in or you can just put the whole thing in but you do have to wash it of course wash everything make sure everything is washed properly. You're going to want to add greens as green and leafy as dark as possible you can put parsley like here and collard greens and some more parsley and cucumber just as dark and leafy as possible just to you know kind of get as much chlorophyll as you possibly can and just like that do not add any water except for about here you you don't you don't want too much water because you want this to still be kind of bulky in the end as you can see from what i added in previously it is completely smoothied now what you're going to do is you're going to add more of any of the vegetables that you want so that it can still be kind of chunky you're not going to add a, any more water at all and you're going to use that part as a salad. As you can tell, I'm going to be adding more colored greens. Now you can see the consistency has changed quite a bit. You're going to let that settle for a bit so that the more thick consistency will rise to the top and will be easier to remove. Here I have some rice with some fresh garlic chopped on top along with some vegetarian chicken that I've cooked and cut up. What you're going to want to do is you're going to take this, you're just going to, you're just going to need a fork and just top it on top just like as if it was a dip or you know some sauce you know and it it'll be great once you finished putting as much as you want um, this definitely does add some moisture if you've cooked say your rice um, and it, it's still dry or any chicken if you're not vegan or even the vegan substitutes can sometimes be dry if, if you might cook it for too long you can still have some left that is consisting less of chunks and um, I don't suggest storing it in the fridge I suggest um, because these are greens and if you leave greens out after they've already been chopped they kind of start to oxidize and don't really taste as great so I suggest adding some more water to this mix and drinking the rest after adding extra water and blending it it's nice and frothy at the top because there's nothing bulky that has obstructed its uh, kind of smoothie look at this beauty Pure chlorophyll. Mmm. That's actually really good.